be teaching you guys exactly how I made $2,000 in the space of 10 minutes trading this New York Open kills on ICT strategy. Now, if you can't sit through long two and a half, three and a half hour long ICT videos to learn about its strategies, then this video is for you. Well, I'll be breaking down, the, down in literally 10 minutes a whole ICT strategy, the concepts I used in the space of 10 minutes. Now, I can guarantee you that this strategy will make you profitable as soon as you watch this video. I can guarantee you that as soon as you've watched this video, go and back test these exact concepts, this exact strategy that I'll be teaching, I can guarantee profitability. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Firstly, I need to first show you guys that I did actually take this trade that I'll be breaking down and giving out to the free members. I literally held everyone's hand during this trade. Firstly, I marked out why we're actually taking this trade. So I showed exactly why and I showed my chart work on why we was about to take this trade. Now, when others actually got on the same page as us, I broke down the exact entry that I'll be taking. Once I had shared that, multiple members had gotten inside um, the exact trade that I had taken. Then I had actually progressed and showed exactly where I'll be moving my stop losses, how to manage the trade, all in the free telegram. So if you do want to join the free telegram, it will be in the description below. This is my telegram app if you do want to contact me on a one-to-one -one level and ask any, any questions that I could potentially help with. So much free value within that telegram. Um, I share tons and tons of my payouts and tons of client results, new videos that are coming out. So, so much free value. So do join the telegram in the link below. Now jumping straight into the video, you guys need to understand exactly why we took that trade. Okay guys, so first things first, I need to break down the exact strategy that we used. Now, I need to, I'm need i going to make you guys a checklist how you can use this exact same strategy. So what pairs can you actually trade this on? So first things first, you can trade this on gold, which we actually traded. You can do Euro USD and GBP USD. Now what are the timings? So we've got London Open Kill Zone, which we trade, which is from 2am to 7am. No, sorry, not 7 a.m., 5 a.m. And then we've got New York Open Kill Zone, which is from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. This is the the kill zone that we actually traded for the trade I'll be breaking down. Now, what do we need in order to actually trade the strategy? First things first, we need a lick. Willity sweep. We then need market structure shift. We then need um, order block or a fair value gap. And then what are the time frames that we'll be using this on? 15 minute and the five minute. Now, first things first, we have to identify the sessions that we're actually trading. So for example, we're trading the London Open Kill Zone. We're gonna mark out 2 a.m to 5 a.m. So I'm just say, doing this for example sake, that's not actually 5 a.m. 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Once you've identified that, so prior to your session starting, you do not have any bearing on price. You do not care what price is doing, whether it's going up, down, sideways. You let it do what it wants to do, right? Now, as soon as your session starts, this is where you are actively on hunt mode. You actually want to mark out your areas of liquidity. So what are areas of liquidity? They can be old session highs and lows and session highs and uh, sorry old session highs and lows or just significant highs and lows so we have this high we have our buy side liquidity and then we want to mark out our sell side liquidity as well now once you've actually marked our liquidity let me just um, mark this out as liquidity you then want to patiently wait for one of these liquidity errors to get taken so first things first when sell side gets taken what are we looking for buyers why because under sell side liquidity there's buy stops if buy side liquidity gets taken, we look for sales. Why? Because above buy side liquidity, there's sell stops. So we let price do whatever it wants within our session. And what we are anticipating is for a liquidity sweep. Now, as soon as we get a liquidity sweep, we jump into the five minute time frame, like so, and seek a market structure shift. So we've had a liquidity sweep, we now seek a market structure shift. So once we finally get that market structure shift, we then have to seek an order block or a fair value gap. It doesn't matter which one you, do, you use, whatever your one's your personal favorite. I love using order blocks. So for example, we have an order block here. That's what we're gonna mark out. Simply from then, all we do is just a matter of patience and we wait for a retracement into our order block entry and then target opposing liquidity. And that's how simple this strategy is. So I'll be breaking down the exact trade that I took to actually trade in this strategy okay guys so so straightforward 
very very easy to understand so i'll be breaking that down now now before i do break it down remember do join our free telegram again tons of free value within our um, telegram and um our mentorship is literally 49.99 i don't even think you can get lunch for that nowadays where we drop so much value all of our clients are absolutely killing it weekly breakdowns our course the exact strategy that we are using um, is also broken down for 49.99 and we give you a free hft pass so you get access to 100k 200k and prop firm funding Taking down the exact trade that we actually took that made me two thousand dollars within the space of 10 minutes again i can get that proved as you can see here um two thousand dollars done for the day and then i went and enjoyed my day so right first things first so if you guys do want to use these indicators what they do is just mark out your london session 2 a.m to 5 a.m and 7 a.m till 10 a.m so this london open kill zone and new york kill zone uh, the indicator is called kz boxes uh, by david and these are the settings that i use if you want to use the exact same colors as me of course so jumping into the video now so we had london open kill zone now we didn't trade london open kill zone because we was anticipating higher prices for gold now that's taught in our free telegram on how to actually get your high time from buyers but for the sake of this video i'm just showing you guys the exact entry strategy that we used so we marked out our um sell side and buy side liquidity now why did we use this sell side liquidity here this significant low because one it's a significant low and two it was monday's new york open kill zones new york open kill zones low okay so that's our sell side liquidity and our buy side liquidity was this significant high here so that was our significant highs and lows now firstly so next things next we had to wait for um new york open kill zone to start before we actually looked for anything else so new york open kill zone started as soon as new york open kill zone started look what we swept we swept yet uh, monday's new york low now as soon as we swept that low what we did was jump straight into the five minute time frame and waited for a market structure shift so where is our low create for our market structure shift there was our low so we wanted to see a market structure shift through over here before we even look to look, get for entries as price progressed on what did we create we created oh sorry let's jump that back so as pre, um price progressed what did we create we created another swing low why is that swing low because this swing high the candle before it and after if i zoom in are both below that candle so we had a brand new low created so now we are just seeking a market shift through this high here so anticipating that we were just waiting as soon as we got a market shift oh and there was our market structure shift now with our market structure shift what do we look for straight after a market shift? We are now looking at entry. So you can take a fair value gap or an order block, which is totally down to you. As you guys can see, a order block was created. Um, this down close candle for the huge spike up. Then we got the retracement in. Now, as soon as we got that retracement in, we took a, a long position here. Now our stop loss was just at this low here and then we targeted for a one to two however i was actually targeting for higher prices however you see these opposing fair value gaps they weren't really enticing me to say the least so um i closed that for a nice one to two however that was our entry and then as you can see price just progressed and absolutely smashed take profit and it actually carried on going up so we could have gone for a much much bigger um risk to reward that could have been a what one to five almost uh but as you guys can see, very straightforward sweep of liquidity, drop into a lower time frame, seek a market structure shift, um, get the market structure shift, then seek a retracement into order block or fair value gap, take the entry, uh, stop under the area of interest or even the low, the nearest low, and then target opposing liquidity. Opposing liquidity could have been this high here. Again, you would have closed that for a nice one to three, which we was actually anticipating. Now, as you guys can see, this was the exact trade that we taken. I explained everything. I held everyone's hand through the trade. I told everyone when to start moving their stop losses. As you can see, we got the market structure shift. We was targeting that opposing liquidity, as I'm showing you on here. 
However, I did end up closing early, um, but that was a trade taken, um, held everyone's hand through. As I can see, there was a fair value gap. This is exactly why I said I was going to close up for a one to two. And then the other students had um, also agreed. So that was that um, $2,000 in 10 minutes. And that's really how you do it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and go and practice this exact strategy. And I can guarantee you it works most of the time.